Hi there. First thing I want to do this morning is show you a picture of my wonderful husband. He disappeared. This is a when I snapped of him some time ago, but he is so sweet. You know these iPhones do you dirt. But there he is, my good looking man that God gave me. I am blessed. I am so blessed. So anyway, he bought me, we went to the thrift store Saturday and he bought me another hat and it is called, I, I read it and it says Panama Jack. And I looked it up on the internet and that is a famous hat brand. They're still making them. But this one was 1974. Made in China with love, care, and pride. Here is my Panama Jack hat. It's an antique like me. Is that cute? <laughs> I think he paid 50 cents for it, but maybe a dollar. He might've went whole hog and paid a dollar. You know what whole hog is? That's the whole kit and caboodle. More old timey sayings. And so I decided to go red today. And Bella is here and she was wanting to take center stage. But Bella, I don't think you could take center stage too good, but she's trying. You know, I enjoy talking to my children, grandchildren, great grandbabies, senior citizens, whoever's there with my coffee that James got me this morning. I was thinking this morning about how, you know, we are witnesses of Christ. And so I looked up and walking the path. So there's so many scriptures on witnesses and walking the path. And in Jeremiah 6, 16, 17, it says, ask you for the ancient paths and where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls. Well, I tell you what, that really works because I got so aggravated at my wonderful husband yesterday evening. He was watching the Gaithers on TV, and they're wonderful. We love the Gaithers. We, Gaithers, we watch their music on YouTube. You don't have to go anywhere in person. You can just enjoy good music. I'm red today. Isn't that cute? Grandma, don't look too bad this morning. I love this Panama hat. Kind of frames my face. But anyway, walking that path. I don't come to just entertain folks. I do entertain because I'm so silly and wishy-washy. Anyhow, walk that path, the path of peace. Where was I? Oh, yes. Number three, irritated grandma last night. He was watching the Gaithers on YouTube. Now, anybody knows that you can pause YouTube, right? I'm giving you a little bit of my personal aggravation. He is not exactly perfect. I'm not either. I'm closer than he is, though. <laughs> That's not nice. But sometimes I'm not always nice. Are we, Bella? Bella, stay here. Don't run off now. People want to see you, too. Anyway, so I said, honey, I would like to... I said, James, James, I got his attention. I said, I'd like to call my brother Denny. Could I call my brother Denny? Because I want to talk in the living room. I don't want to have to go hide in the back room and talk to my brother, Denny. I turned him on speakerphone. I said, you like to talk to He said, you interrupted me when I was just in this, my music, it was. Interrupted him? You can pause YouTube. I said, James. The king was interrupted. Bless his heart. I love him. But you know, even the most sweetest husbands in the world can aggravate you. So you know what I did? I said, be anxious for nothing to myself. I said, forget it. I can talk to Denny later. So I just dropped it. But I was still aggravated this morning. But then I thought, Claire, you know, I talked to myself. Shame on you. You still got a hurt feeling spirit. I said, I don't want that, Lord. Forget it. 
Now, what do we have to do? If you get offended, you let it go right away. This is a lesson that I have learned and it works. So I said, okay, girl, you're gonna be normal. So you know what I did? I came home, I fixed his breakfast. I mean, over to my house, you know, we have breakfast over here. I don't know if y'all are interested in that or not, but if some of these other grannies can talk about whatever, I guess I can too. Why not? They set the example. Blame them, not me. <laughs> I'm learning from them. <laughs> so anyway, they're sweet people, and I love both of them, the other two that I watch. Anyway, so this, I had, you know, after, after St. Patrick's Day is over, you can find really good buys on those um, corned beef roast. And I found one that was like $10, a good one. Man, it, it was like almost four pounds. So you know what I do? I look on the internet and find me a recipe. Four ingredients. Just keep it simple. So it's in the Ninja Foodie Instapot. Same as Instapot. And it only has to cook one hour. And you take an onion, cut it in four pieces, and then you put cloves, whole cloves in it. And you're, uh, you use that beef broth and you cover it up with beef broth and you um, cook it for one hour. So we'll see how it turns out. And then after you get that cooked, then you can do your cabbage and potatoes. Uh, and you only turn it on the, in the Ninja for three minutes and you use that br same broth. I'm gonna try it. First time I've ever done it. I like to hunt up new recipes and guess what? Now I hope he's telling me the truth. My front my neighbor up front, he rents from me. And anyway, that meatloaf recipe, I told him seriously, we want it. So he said, I'll write it down for you. He's gonna give it to me. And I'm gonna share it with y'all, Lord willing, when and if I get it. I like these earrings. Y'all are wonderful. God bless y'all. I just love talking to you. You know, just sit down and have my coffee with you. So you get you a cup of coffee and we just have our coffee. Like uh, that grandma down there in Georgia. She's a sweet lady too. Helen in Georgia. I like her. The way she's just so laid back also. She does live shows. You think I'll ever have the nerve to do that? To just, you know, you can do it. I know how to do it. But I just haven't got the guts to do it as yet. Now, is that a good expression? I don't know. But it's one I know. I just haven't got the nerve. Seem like it's scary. Thinking about going live. Who knows? I might drop my coffee and it go everywhere. I do get the drop dropsies sometimes. That's true. Well, I want you to know me and number three are on good terms. Because I had to work on my spirit a little bit and do a little praying there. Lord, help me to be good and nice and kind and forgiving when he hurts my feelings. Some of us women are just touchy. Y'all know that. I'm not too touchy, but that's life, kiddos. It's real life. And most people don't confess it, but I'll confess it. I'm 90 and I've been around the block a time or two, as they say, <laughs> you know, three husbands. I thought that was cute. What? Grandma Chit Chat said, she said, I saw that lady. She's talking about me. She's had three husbands and I've had one and he ran away. That's what she said. So bless her heart. She's been alone a long time and my heart goes out to her and I love her because she's a sweet lady. God bless her. I love all them other grandmas. All us grandmas are here together and there's plenty of time for y'all to look at us. I mean, after all, now I don't take up a lot of your time, but some of those other grandmas are kind of like preachers. They're a little long-winded. I don't want to get that way. I just can't do that. I get out of breath. I get thirsty. My mouth gets dry. I just as soon get it said and be done with it. I look on the bright side of life most of the time. I really do. And James said, there's a full moon. See the full moon? It was beautiful this morning. I like this hat. Look, 
You know what it said on it? Made of paper. It's all paper. Some kind of paper. I don't know. And it says floppy. It is floppy. See that? Amazing. Well, I'm going to shut it up. And I've had fun. Now i got to go do some shopping. And my roast is cooking. And you get them real cheap after St. Patrick's Day. And I say, I save on my grocery money. You know, I buy good deals. I try. Groceries has went up so much. So I'm going to, after that gets done, then, you know, you can put your cabbage in and your potatoes and you set your pressure cooker for one minute. And then you take the steam off. You don't let it go off slow. You take it off and your potatoes will be good and your cabbage will be perfect. I've done that before. So God bless you. I love you. And don't forget to walk that path where Jesus would be pleased with you. Love you. Bye-bye.